फंक्शन थी टेंथ नवंबर 2018 सैटरडे टुडेज ब्लेसिंग इज मे यू बिकम एन इमेज ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस हु गिव्स अदर्स द फीलिंग ऑफ बिलोंगिंग बाय स्टेइंग बियॉन्ड ऑल लिमिट्स just as it emerges in everyone's mind my baba so let it emerge in everyone's mind this one is mine for an unlimited brother or sister didi or dadi no matter where you stay you are an instrument for unlimited service to stay beyond all limits and to have unlimited feelings and unlimited good wishes is to follow the father now experience this practically and also give others the same experience in any case experienced matured ones are called pitaji father or kaka ji uncle become experienced in this way in an unlimited way that is let everyone experience belonging baba is teaching us to be loving just as for baba everyone says my baba baba is saying in the similar manner everyone should say for a particular brother or sister or didi or dadi that this one is mine so no matter where you stay you are an instrument for an unlimited service baba is saying and just as those experienced ones those matured ones are called father or uncle become experienced in this way in an unlimited way that is let everyone experience belonging so how this will happen that everyone experiences a sense of belongingness in another way how to become more loving so that people call us my or mine does that mean that we go after pleasing people satisfying them if you want this to happen what should we do baba has said one more thing here for coming to this stage go beyond all limits have unlimited feelings and unlimited good wishes <coughs> this is to follow the father and experience this practically and give others the same experience so what should we do so that there is a sort of wave of love spreading across the brahmin family so what should we do to become lovable more lovable more loving what should we do so that everyone experiences the feeling of belonging yes what should we do yeah what you give you receive this is such a simple philosophy if internally we are nurturing some grudge some sense of hatred some negativity some waste some traces of vice some shades of lust the same would be reflected back so the first thing is do unto others what you want 
others to do unto you if you want that everyone should respect you the ways to give respect if you want that everyone should love me the ways to give them love if you want that everyone should appreciate me the ways to appreciate so do unto others what you want others to do unto you that is first thing what else hmm so what will happen he is the living seed remember this he is the living seed baba is the living seed and from this seed the entire tree has come out and if you want cooperation and love from all the souls of this tree rather than connecting to them the best thing is connect with him the moment a soul connects with him automatically you get connected with all the souls who are there so the way to get love the way to get cooperation the way to get help to way to get that feeling of affection from everyone is not to go after each one of them not to do flattering but rather connect with the supreme soul connect with the source connect with the living seed of this living tree the inverted tree the moment you get connected here then you don't have to work on these people automatically there would be wave of love around so becoming god conscious by loving him above all is a way to love souls or to get love from the souls or they will start having that feeling of belongingness or this is what is baba says unlimited because if suppose a tries to please b definitely he has to displease c who is sitting somewhere if i am attached to b i have to develop detachment from c if i start loving b too much at some point of time i will have to hate somebody because anybody who comes in between this love the first feeling that will arise is jealousy or hatred or revenge so it's great danger to get caught up only in one soul and then that soul becomes the source of all attraction all love all attachment all thoughts go to that soul so that becomes a bondage as we heard yesterday's blessing baba said bondage is a bondage whether it is a diamond branch whether it is a, or it is a golden chain you have to become double hero you have to become a flying bird so bondages are not acceptable so in the similar manner there's a great risk in getting attached only to one person and if at all you can't avoid that temptation let that person be the supreme soul because once you get attached to the supreme soul automatically all souls are included in him so the love flows so the second thing is trying to love baba above all what else we should do to become more loving or oh, that everyone's heart says my that's okay this is all follow up what else Hmm? So all conscious and what else in relation to others? Good wishes and pure feelings for them, as we always say. 
our stock of good wishes and pure feelings is not that great it's great for those people who praise us who appreciate us but it's less for those who criticize so unlimited good wishes unlimited stock of good wishes for everyone no matter what they do they criticize they abuse they oppose they malign they condemn let them do what they want because we are keeping good wishes not exactly for them but for ourselves only because when i entertain some feeling of hatred for somebody i become ill at ease and i cannot have yoga with baba so it's rather more for my sake than for their sake so third is good wishes and pure feelings in order to become more lovable what else understand put yourself in their shoes try to analyze the situation from their point of view two persons are there and there is a constant misunderstanding between them constant they always at quarrel with each other what they should do and each one feels a feels i am right b feels i am right if they can stop for some time and a can put himself or herself in b's shoes and see how things are probably many misunderstanding would settle it's that arrogance which is within everyone's mind that i am right and it is such a subtle arrogance very very subtle arrogance in today's murli also baba said arrogance of maya so to understand that other person also this is usually in you know couples or husband wife relationships or even in friendships or even in some families that people are not ready to understand each other if they can stop for some time and think what that other person is thinking about me or how that other person is viewing or analyzing the situation probably they would come more sweetness in this relationships otherwise people are at war with each other all the time this is the world of fights we talk of love so much but have you ever ha- had that question in your mind who taught people to hate we keep on reading about love everywhere everybody talks about love but still people hate each other who taught them to love it is a lack of love but they have been taught about love all religions talk about love but there are terrorists and there are people like that they hate each other so probably something is missing in the teachings who teaches to break shrimat we have been taught about shrimat shrimat all the time nobody teaches but we do it nobody teaches about hatred but hatred is so much prevalent in the world rampant like anything everywhere the world is a place for hatred everybody two persons hate each other two states hate each other two nations hate each other two castes hate each other two neighbors hate each other husband and wife there is a outside love but inside there is a deep hatred one of the psychologists had said somewhere that every man in his lifetime must have thought at least four times to kill his wife at least four times throughout the life four times that thought must have come in his mind that i should just kill her she is such a irritation such a botheration she he might love her too much but that thought at least four times must have crossed his mind throughout his married life such a thing is there and there is a good joke that's where there is one couple they go to one hotel and once they reach reach their room the husband calls up the manager down please come fast my wife is about to commit suicide she is trying to jump out of window 
please come up so the manager says i am sorry this is your personal affair i can't intervene i can't intervene this is your personal affair how can i interfere intervene in your affair he says no it is not personal affair the window is not opening it is maintenance problem please come fast somewhere he wants something to happen some mishap some accident there's another good joke about diwali and somebody says to the husband if you want noiseless diwali no crackers and other things why don't you send your wife to her in-laws <laughs> so you can have silent diwali so you know there's a hatred somewhere everywhere in the world and who taught that hatred nobody knows and they keep on reading about love and they keep on reading about preaching about love they are so much preachy about love but in their heart of hearts in their soul of souls they have that deep seated hatred so try to understand each other try to step into their shoes then what else hm forgive them and forget forget and forgive don't keep their faults defects imperfections failings misunderstandings mistakes blunders committed by them in your mind for a long time because that creates bitterness in relationships there is one subtle principle of psychology here if suppose somebody comes to me okay and he says this man is not good at all okay he tells me that he has committed some blunder immediately i believe that when somebody tells me about how bad somebody is i believe now another person comes and tells about some other person that this brother is very good i want proof i want proof for goodness but i don't want proof for bad anything which is bad i immediately accept if suppose somebody comes and says me this boy this brother who is staying here in pandavavan he has done such a thing i don't want too much proofs i immediately accept that he must have done it and then i start spreading it gossip mongering here and there and trying to make it more spicy and spending from my own pocket for purchasing spices to make the news more delicious so that i can present with good on a platter to somebody but if suppose somebody comes and says this brother is very good this you should listen his what he has said or this brother is really very humble or like that and you will say we have seen him lot of lot many times we don't accept immediately so if somebody is praising something somebody we want proofs and when somebody abuses somebody and tells us and makes us believe we are immediately ready to believe this is human psychology a very subtle psychology which each one should understand so what we are saying forgive and forget and then appreciate appreciation is a very good thing every soul needs appreciation every soul is rather thirsty for praise for recognition and no matter uh, how shabbily somebody has done his work but still one craves for praise and acknowledgement that is another part of human psychology human nature is like that if anybody does something and one is scolded for that probably next time 
he is reluctant to do anything better. But if somebody does and he is appreciated, he goes ahead and breaks the old records. So it's a sense of appreciation which can make one loving or everybody have that feeling of belongingness, apanapan, that just as for Baba, they, everybody says, my Baba, people should say the same for each Brahmin soul. Then what else? Appreciate. Then? Uh, that we said, forgive and forget. Cooperation. And cooperation should be given at the time of need. That is the point where cooperation should be given. So whenever somebody receives even a glass of water, when he needs it, he may not forgive, forget that the whole, throughout his life. So give souls the timely need is important. The timely help is important. That's why in this yagya, there are many souls in 1950s and 60s who helped Baba. And that was the time when help was needed in the yagya. And those souls who helped, Baba remembers them even to this date. Baba remembers those mothers of Gurgaon how they used to send some or other thing to Baba. So, that is there. What else? So, helping, cooperating, then? What else? Hmm? What else? One should work on relationships and try to find out the cause of bitterness. Why the relationships have become bitter? Who is at fault? Is it the ego? Is it some other complex which is walking in the, between the two souls? So trying to find out the causes of bitterness is one thing. There must be something, some hidden vibes, some hidden vibrations which are negative. And that's why that is creating bad karmas. So try to understand the causes of bad karmas. What else? So working on relationships. What else? Anything? Hmm? Mm-hmm. Helping? Helping. Other thing is not judging. Not becoming judgmental. Not becoming judge all the time. He is like this, he is like that. He is like that, he is like that. The other day I had also said, the, one of the signs of maturity is to understand that not everyone and everything of this world requires your comment. Sometimes you have to be absolutely non-judgmental. So Baba is saying, no matter what you st- where you stay, you are an instrument for unlimited service. To stay beyond our limits and to have unlimited feelings and unlimited good wishes is to follow the Father. Now experience this practically and also give others the same experience. And just as experienced, matured persons are called Pitaji and Kakaji. So, may you be a Pitaji and may you be Kakaji. Become experienced in this way and in an unlimited way. That is, let everyone experience belongingness. Belonging. So, do unto others what you want others to do unto you. And uh, there's one more word in English which is known as empathy. Empathy means to feel what the other person is feeling. That is samanubhuti. Another is, one is sympathy. Sahanubhuti. But there is one more ahead of sympathy is samanubhuti. Samanuti bhuti doesn't mean, empathy doesn't mean I start crying, but I try to feel the pains of those people, how they are suffering, and what I can do. It's something a step ahead. It starts all with, for example, mercy. Mercy means I have mercy upon them, but I am not going to do anything for them. You go little ahead, compassion. Compassion means something more, it's known as karuna. 
the whole buddhism is based on karuna you go something ahead sympathy sympathy is something even more than compassion you feel that pain deeply and even more than that is empathy empathy is somewhere something very high where i understand their pain i feel their pain and i want to help them and i go out of my way to help them and i correct my mistakes just as uh, this emperor ashoka after the battle of kalinga he was on a killing spree he was killing each other he killed his brothers and he became king and he fought and fought and fought and he captured and kingdoms one after other everything he did but there was a battle of kalinga which was fought and after that bloody battle when he saw so much sorrow and suffering and killing and people wounded and all there happens heart transformation a sea change in his life and he stops all this and turns towards buddhism and becomes one of the greatest uh propo proponent of one of the greatest helper of buddhism so there was a sea change so that happens after such a thing he developed that empathy within him so this feeling of empathy that if suppose somebody is suffering let me also feel his pain and do something and go out of my way and do something for him so this is all different ways the topic is very big it can go on and on and on but what baba wants at that just as for baba everybody says my baba for you also everybody should say he is my brother and he is my sister but you have to live in that unlimited consciousness not getting attached only to one person or one family or to one department or one institution or to one state or nation that thought should remain that we are for the world not for one person my pushar should not get lost in just for myself let it arise and let me do something that will benefit whole world my existence is for the world that thought should be there all the time om shanti